Try that again. Hi everyone. It's me, Beth from Be Style, live on Tuesday morning. Well, no, it's not morning, it's afternoon. Anyway, um, coming to you live to say hello. I have a couple summer tips. One prompted by a question I got from one of my favorite customers, readers, followers, Kim from Alabama. She contacted me, contacted our group actually this week. Um, and by group, I'm talking about the free summer style system group that if you haven't joined, I highly recommend you joining. It's not too late. I will post a link when I get off. I'll post a link to that to sign up for it. It's the light version of my seasonal style system. And this is one is for summer. I'm doing it for free just to give more people the chance to see what it's all about. And just because summer is not a time to be going crazy buying too much stuff, time to kind of, you know, kick back a little bit. So it's a light version, but it gives some great tips, some great easy outfit ideas and um, basics that you can use to, you know, help you get dressed through the summer. So I'm going to talk a little bit about, about some basics next, but I wanted to start with um, this question that I got from Kim from Alabama. She was writing on behalf of her daughter, actually, who is a new mom. She's had two little boys back to back. And um, she is struggling because she's, you know, weighing a lot more than she's used to. She's obviously put on that mom weight and it's not coming off quite yet. And she is just struggling with getting dressed. She just feels like everything, you know, things aren't fitting right. Things don't feel right. She just, and she doesn't want to go spend a lot of money on new stuff, expensive new stuff, especially that um, might fit now, but won't fit when the baby weight comes off, if the baby weight comes off. Um, and she's kind of in that in-between stage. So let me say hi to some people. Hi, Anna, thanks for joining. Anyway, um, we she asked, she posted this question in the private Facebook group for the summer style system. And it was amazing, all the fantastic answers she got and ideas. And I would say the the, my answer and the theme of everybody, most people's answer was, no, you're not gonna go out and buy a lot of expensive, especially fitted classic clothes, tailored fitted clothes that, um, that fit you if you're in a weight transition phase. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, I don't want you to have a lot of clothes in your closet that, um, that aren't gonna fit you, you know, for the long term. So um, what you have in your closet needs, but, but that being said, what has, what's in your closet needs to fit you today also. So I would recommend people in this situation, get rid of the stuff that's in your closet that makes you feel lousy because when you put it on, it doesn't fit. You know, you can't button the pants, it's too tight, you feel lousy. Get it out, you know, out of sight. Get it out of your closet and replace it with items that are more forgiving and that have more versatility in terms of fit. Um, perfect example is what I'm wearing today. I'm gonna to take my vest off to show you the dress. This is, I've worn this a lot. I posted it before, I wear it a lot. This is a $17, it might even be less because you know how Old Navy goes. It's an Old Navy tank swing dress. Um, that is still available, I checked, I'm gonna post the link. It's now $17. Um, I don't know how much less it could get, but knowing them, you know, if you have coupons and stuff, it could probably go less. I'm wearing it in this fabulous purpley blue color, but it also comes in solid black. And I have, I think I have the same one or a very similar one in solid black that I wear all the time. And it also comes in a black and white stripe, which is fantastic. And a black and white graphic print, which is fantastic. This is the kind of dress, if I were a young mom, which I'm not, but if, especially if I were in Alabama where it's hot, and um, I didn't want things like clinging to me and feeling tight. I would go out and, and buy this dress in this color and I would, might even buy three. I might even recommend getting it in the solid black, a black and white print, and this color, if you can. If not, just pick one, depending on what you like and what you already have. Um, because this dress, it hits me, I'm 5'8". Five, I'm five it hits me, sorry you can't see. I would say this much above my knee. You can see I posted, there's a picture posted on the page so you can see where it hits me. Hits me above my knee. Um, it's not a mini, mini dress, but it's not long either. It's above the knee. So depending on your height, it 
probably comes in petite though, so keep that in mind. I Don't quote me on that, it might not. It is obviously a tank dress. It also is available in a short sleeve. If, you're, if you don't like tanks, it comes in a short sleeve. And then in the fall, they always have it in long sleeve. Um, so a dress like this is going to fit you and it's going and it's not going to be a tent so it's not going to look like you're just throwing a tent on to cover up weight it will fit you up top it will skim your curves it has some shape to it and it has some swing do you see the swing so it's fun it's comfortable it when you stand still there is nothing touching your body other than whatever's on underneath um which reminds me underneath i recommend i'm not going to show you like those boy shorts, Peach, the company I represent, also has these amazing, simply soft cotton boy shorts. They're kind of like those bicycle shorts, so you wear those underneath under the dress instead of regular underwear, and you're good to go. And if if you have a Marilyn Monroe minute moment, you're you're covered. Um, but that's another secret tip. I'll try to remember to to um, tech, uh, link those as well. But that's just a, and that's a great way to feel comfortable. You don't have chafing. You don't feel your skin rubbing against itself. Dress like this is amazing. So if it's hot, you can wear it like this. I am. Go I have. I said in my my post earlier. I have a crazy day today. I've already had a phone meeting where I was in a video, so I had to, you know, look good from the waist up. So I put on my cool earrings. These are sold out from Stella and Dot, but throw on a cool pair of earrings, even if it's just a big hoop. Instead of just wearing little studs, put on a really cool pair of earrings. It doesn't have to be blue with blue. You could wear hot pink earrings, blush earrings silver, gold, but just by putting on earrings, it makes it less than just a, a t-shirt dress, right? It makes it more of an outfit. So I had a, a meeting where I had to look professional from the waist up. I wore this in my slippers. Um, next, I have another appointment. I'm gonna throw on a pair of flip-flops. I have these black patent Target flip-flops that have a little wedge. I got these years ago, but Target's a great source for inexpensive flip-flops that are kind of cute. I'll throw this on for my next appointment. Then I have a, a game that I'm going to. I'm going to go to our Acton Boxborough Varsity Hockey, uh, soc uh, sorry, lacrosse game. I don't have a player, but I have friends who do, and they're playing for the, it's like the semifinals for Division One. So that's going to be exciting. So you know what I'm going to wear? I'm going to wear the same dress. I'm wearing my Stan Smith sneakers. Um, just to walk to the walk over to the field and then I'm gonna wear this third piece is a white vest that's very sporty and cute and just kind of gives it just kind of gives a little bit of coverage and that third piece this is brand new today by peach it's on the peach website um, discoverpeach.com um, and then you can look for me as your stylist uh, but this is a really fun, pe fun, fun peach piece. It has a mesh vest, a mesh, really cool mesh details here. It has that, like talk about this shape. It has like those in C's and an inverted C that gives you some shape. So in this somewhat shapeless dress, a third piece like this gives it some shape. Um, so that's what I'll wear to this game. And then tonight I have my son's baseball banquet. So for that, I need to get a little more dressed up. So I'm going to wear a pair of, again, Target, um, block heel sandals. And I'm gonna throw on a necklace, which I had, yes, I do. I'm gonna throw on a long pendant necklace. With these earrings, I'm gonna keep my necklace, I could go no necklace, but I'm gonna keep my necklace just a simple gold chain with a pendant. This is Stellan Dot, I wear it all the time and I'll throw on I'll stack on some bracelets and my block heels and I had it on I must have left it I have my black flyaway cardigan that I'll wear as my third piece my peach black flyaway cardigan that's fabulous and that as of today also comes in a shorter length the traditional peach flyaway is long and I love it it could be tied I can wear long but some of you petite girls it's a little too long for you, so they came out today with a shorter version of the flyaway cardigan in the most amazing fabric, worth every penny. I honestly say, it, it, yes, it's more expensive than the, the inexpensive cardigans that you can find at Target or, or, or Amazon, but it will never pill. It will always look amazing. You could wear it to work. It will never look chintzy or cheap. You can wear it 
literally for the rest of your life. And it's the kind of piece that will shrink and grow with you. It is not a fitted piece, but it hangs straight and you can get a size and, and as you lose weight, gain weight, whatever, it's not gonna, it's not gonna ever not fit you because of the stretch in it and the way it's shaped. If I had it here, I could show it to you. Hold on one second, I'm gonna grab it. Stay with me, here it is, I got it. Okay, <laughs> I know you've seen it, but since I'm talking about it, a piece like this takes my outfit, I'm gonna throw on the heels, and it, take off my sneakers, throw on the necklace, and now I'm ready for this banquet. I, I'm gonna roll up the sleeves, but you can see this sweater is amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. I wear this a couple times a week. I have it in black and white. Um, and I, I really feel like it's a must have. And, and I think in black, black and white, personally. Definitely the black, but I have it in white too, which is great in the summer. So that is a tip for you to take an inexpensive dress, $17, and make it look expensive with what you add to it. Add your cool jewelry, change your shoes, and add a cool third piece and you know you're you're gonna look pulled together and elevated without spending a fortune because the dress you know seventeen dollars but the 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 sweater like this or the vest you can wear those multiple times a week so it makes more sense to spend some money on those things that are your third piece your finishing piece um, that you can wear multiple times a week all year round this I wear all year round weekly the cost per wear on a sweater like this is pennies. It rolls up into a little ball. It doesn't pill. It never looks cheap. And again, it will grow with you and your changing, fluctuating weight. So, other thing I want to share with you, I was gonna share some things that I've gotten recently. Um, we talk about comfortable sandals that don't hurt your feet. Um, and, you know, I've always worn Javianas, I think that's how you say them, the flip-flops and they're, they provide zero support. I don't have foot problems, so I still have to admit I do wear them a lot. Um, people buy the fit flops and swear by them. I'm, I'm on the fence <laughs> with the fit flops. If you're gonna buy fit flops, buy the most simple, unadorned pairs you can. Don't get ones with all kinds of jewelry on them. Very simple, they are very comfortable, they are good for your feet. Um, I tried the Tory Burch flats. I spent the 198 on them and sent them back because as, as great looking as they are, they just didn't provide any support and they just didn't feel like $200 sandals. I just couldn't imagine, for me, you know, I, $200 for a pair of sandals. Um, that was gonna give me tan lines on my feet too. I don't understand how people get around that, the, having the big symbol on your foot. That would bum me out. But I, what I found um, are, we talk about Vionics. Vionics are a, podiatrist approved supported shoe brand they have an amazing footbed amazing arch support they come in wide sizes narrow sizes and they have this sandal that is the same color as the classic Tory Burch saddle I think it's what's called saddle it's just a brown leather it's 100% leather it is a very simple thong sandal it is going to all but disappear on your foot but while still looking cool it doesn't have any Adornment, which I really think is important with with um, shoes. I mean, of course, it's very fun sometimes to wear a fun bright shoe or something with a pattern or a de so details. I'm not saying not to do that, but for your everyday sandal, the simpler the better, less is more. And this is a very sleek, simple sandal with unbelievable. I put it. You, it, it hits your. It is so supportive. I think you could walk in days, four days in these. Um, so they're by Bionics. I will, I will link them. Um, that's that. Does anyone have any questions while I take a little breath here? I'm gonna say hi to people. Hi, Anna and Debbie and Nancy and Karen. Good to good to see you guys joining me. Thank you. Um, I'm still a little hoarse. I've had a couple crazy weeks between my graduation, my reunion last weekend, and then this weekend. We had graduation parties to go to and we hosted with a three family graduation party for my son and two of his best friends. And so the three families hosted and we had at least 200 people here in my yard. It was so fun. 
but a lot of work. It's a lot of work, but a lot of fun. It, it really could not, we had great weather, great crowd, and everyone had fun. So I'm just still recovering from that though. My house is a disaster. Um, but what else did I have for you? Oh, I want to show you one other thing. I was in the market for a new bag. To, to, I take my laptop with me everywhere I go um, because I love to go work in coffee shops. I get more done there because the dogs aren't there for one thing and it's just less distracting for me. So I got this backpack, this cute cream and black striped backpack from Stellan Dot. I should, I should tell you, I get most of my Stellan Dot stuff for free, I, I have to confess, because I'm a stylist and the, the benefits of being a stylist are unbelievable. So if you ever want to talk to me about being a stylist for Stellan Dot, if you know people who love the brand and want to buy it from you, um, whether it's online or in person, I do it all online, as you know. I never, I never host shows, um, but uh, it's great. They're very generous with their benefits, um, discounts, and things like that. But anyway, this is a backpack that's like a vinyl, so it is indestructible. It's destructible, as you know. I'm very rough on things, so I haven't yet invested in a really expensive laptop bag because I'm afraid I'd trash it. Um, but this little number is great. You can adjust it by snapping it. And then, um, you know, it's the perfect size for a laptop. It's got a nice secure hook and hook connection in the front. And you can wear it as a backpack or, you know, throw it just, you know, the two straps on the shoulder. You can carry it like this. And I love it. And it's black and white, so it goes with everything, at least with my, with the way I tend to dress. The black and white is just fun, and it rarely is going to clash with anything I'm wearing. So... This is Stella and Dot, and um, I think that's all I have today. Unless anyone has any questions, um, I'm going to post again the link to the Summer Style System. It's free, so please join us. Um, in a nutshell, what how it works is when you when you join, sign up, you'll get an email with a um, PDF that will give you a shopping list, a Summer Essentials shopping list of the basic things that you're gonna take to your closet and find in your closet. My guess is, at least for most people watching, 90% of it will be in your closet, if not 100. Um, and, and kind of create a little capsule for the summer of the, of the, of the on-trend, but not too trendy, basics for the summer. And then um, normally with my style systems, you would get an email every day with a suggested outfit fit formula because this is a light version. What I'm doing is on Sundays, the first one was this past Sunday, every Sunday you'll get an email with three to four outfit formulas drawn from that list and that catalog. Um, and you'll, you'll use the formula. You're not gonna copy it. We're not all gonna be wearing the exact same thing. But for example, one of the formulas was to wear a simple day dress and then make it work for your day, whether it's with sneakers, with heels, with flip-flops, with pumps, with a blazer for work, but that's the, the basic formula. And you'll get an email with those four formulas and you'll pick, based on your plans for that week, what day, which formula makes sense. Or make up your own formula using, using all the different items on the list. And we have this fantastic Facebook group where people post their pictures, post questions. Um, someone might post two pictures, say, which shoes should I wear with this? Or I'm, I'm going to a wedding this weekend, which dress should I wear? And people are amazing. The group members are amazing with their, they're honest, but they're kind and supportive and a whole lot of fun. So I hope you'll join us. We have a couple hundred, maybe 300 people in it right now. And, um, you know, some people are more active than others. Some people just listen or just follow along, lurk, as they say, watching. Other people post. It's completely up to you. There is no pressure. If you don't want to post, of course, you don't have to post. If you do, you can. Um, it's, it's make it what, what works for you. Um, Nancy's asking about the dress I'm wearing. What is the length? I was trying to show earlier. I'm afraid I'm going to... Yeah. It is... I'm on my tippy toes. Can you see? It hits probably this hot, this much above my knee. So I would say it's it's actually hitting me almost the top of my knee. So it is not short. I wouldn't say I would say this is a not a considered a, a, like a short dress. Um, and again, I'm five eight, so it's going to be longer on some people and shorter on others. Check and see on with if they come. This wouldn't apply to you, Nancy, but if you're a petite 
the Old Navy generally, yeah, it definitely comes in petite. It comes in petite and tall, I think. So um, I'll post the link and it will give the measurements. And you know what, what they'll do is they'll give the measurement of the dress. So it's usually the measurement would be from here to the, to the hem. And just get a rule, get a tape measure out and see where it would hit you based on the measurement they give on the website. All right, any other questions? I don't think so. Anyone have any other questions? If not, I'm gonna sign off and um, I'll try not to be as much of a stranger. I haven't been on live for a while, but I'm going to be back um, more often <laughs> as the summer continues. Happy summer, everyone. And if you haven't already, go get dressed. Bye.